we have just reached Pofare in the Northern Cape after about 670 k's from Cape Town. What an awesome trip. Uh, first trip in, in the patrol. Tomorrow we start the Namakwa Equa Trail. It's a 600 kilometer trail uh, through Namakwa Land um, going into the Ruchtersfeld. Uh, it's going to be absolutely epic over the next seven days. So stay tuned. That's right. Welcome to the Namakwa Equa Trail. After a rather cramped night's day in Kamkab Riverbed, we left the next morning at 7 o'clock to finish what would be the first part of the Namakwa Eco Trail. We headed back out the river and headed in the direction of Field Street. The trail from Kamkhab to Fjordsdrift is mostly rocky and it forces you to traverse a handful of passes. If you are not careful with your wheel placements or you go too fast, as I am currently in this video, you do run the risk of cutting a sidewalk. It's much better just to take your time, select low range when needed and just to crawl carefully over the rocks. phenomenally well and you can see they are, how they're working. Be on the lookout for half men's trees. These trees grow between 5 to 10 millimeters a year making this tree 3,000 years old. the Richtersfeld and we're stopping at Petroglyphs. Let's go take a look. It's pretty cool. So I really don't get this. Yeah, you have Petroglyphs which are thousands of years old and then some idiot, Yaku, that's great, bro. And Liana, all writing their names over the shit. I don't get it. Alicia, 
Hope you're watching this. You're a dumbass. That's what you are. I, dates. I don't get it. Why destroy natural history? Why? Just so you can leave your name on a stone. I don't get it. Really, I don't. Okay, that's my venting done for this video. I guess if you truly wanted to leave your mark in the rocks this spot, this is the best way to do it. Check how awesome these stone piles are, stretching for kilometers on either side of the vehicle. This is epic. After those awesome stone piles, you come to a fork in the road. At that fork, turn left. Do not turn right. does not capture this at all by the stone piles a Toyota board that said left but the route I plotted on tracks for Africa took me right follow the board do not go right it's uh, quite a formidable little pass after negotiating some dodgy mountain passes we finally arrived in the town of Extienfontein. Extienfontein was founded in 1945, originally called Stinfontein. However, the town was later renamed after Reverend Peter Extienfontein. While you can purchase and stock up on some basic supplies, it's important to note that there is no fuel available. us um, which did take a little bit longer but this is epic what a cave what? bacon eh? bacon and leftover patty on a sandwich with some cheese let's, let's do it
After a long and hard day, we sat back, opened a cold one, started a fire, and enjoyed the sunset lighting up the surrounding mountains. This brings a close to part 2 of this series. Join us next time as we head to the wood, visiting the awesome small town of Kubus.